There we go. Alright, so now as you can see here, I've got uh, these first three already cleaned out pretty well. I've got my holes underneath here all drilled from my hinges, which will fold down from underneath and uh, inside there. And using a little round wood rasp, I can uh, easily go in here and file up to where I want to stop. And go along here and make some notches. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it roughly. I don't have this marked out at all. And it removes material pretty quick. So as you can see, uh, that is a pretty uh, coarse uh, rasp. Wood, this is an actual wood rasp is what this is. But it works great on aluminum. So, and I'll get the corner. Do the corner here real quick. I think that's it. about where I want it to stop. material a lot quicker than the flat one does. The flat one is just for fine tuning. So we'll use this to create a guide to follow on the, with the flat one. Alright, so that's pretty much done. I've got all my notches along there. Now I can come along with my flat one here. You can see it takes a little longer, but Flattens it out. Does a pretty good job. There we go. So I basically got along here and about most of the way up to the top here. And I'm just eyeballing this. And basically, I'm just leaving a little ledge there. About an eighth of an inch, roughly. Now, I wanted to make sure the outer, my, see, my outer layer is not tied down to the inner layer yet. So I can move. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got it where I want it to be right now. But obviously, you don't want to cut these holes out when, when your outer layer is uh, in the wrong location. But I went and kind of lined it up with some of the holes that were already there, including these two guys here, which uh, seem to line up pretty well, and where the uh, PSIs go. So, I'm pretty sure this is where I want it to be. So now all I've got, I've got that side, that side, and this side. All i got to do is along the top here, and we're done with these uh, side ones. So I'll have these four here on the side opening with hinges. <laughs> through here and I'll take this off basically and uh, I will kind of go in here and I'll fine fine tune that with some sandpaper 
Um, and I still need to countersink my holes here for these other three hinges. I got one started. As you can see, the uh, basically this hinge here will it will mount from the inside like this, and uh, basically fold out. So I make sure that I've got all my holes lined up. I may need to sand a little bit more there just to make sure that that clears. I drilled my holes beforehand, which I shouldn't have done. Because I kind of need to move it that way now, but it's too late. So, But it looks like it'll be okay. So you want to do your holes afterwards, probably. See, now that one there is fine. Obviously, this one here has got lots of room. The one I think I may have trouble with is the second one here. And what I'll need to do is probably... Uh, Do just a hair, a little bit of sanding on the side there because it does kind of scrape. So, and that's probably all I need to do right there. Let's uh, let's try this and see. Let me take this out. I'll just run this in here. Try that out. Screw here. Uh -huh. I got a whole box of them. That's good. Looks like it clears right there. See that? clears just fine. Originally I was worried that these uh, wouldn't fit because I couldn't get them to fit through the slot. Well the problem was it wasn't wide enough so now that I've got it wide enough I need to get my countersink and I will countersink these holes so that the head of this screw will be completely flush here and will not interfere with uh, the outer layer. So, there we go. And as you can see, some of my threads are sticking out now, so I need to get that sanded. And I want to probably sand this area here down and get rid of some of those spin lines. Because obviously when the door opens up, you're going to see spin lines around the outside of it. And it's like, that's not what I want. I don't want to see that. So I need to kind of clean that up before I glue... this layer on. And there it is. Looks just like that. So we're, we're coming along here. I've got a little spot here polished up and I need to go through and do the rest of it. And we'll do an update again uh, down the road.